Hello everybody, it's that time of the year again. The conference is over and uh, I'll get to do the first part of the closing on behalf of the program committee, so goodbye from our side. First and foremost, thank you to everyone who submitted and presented content at this conference, be it a workshop, be it a lightning talk or a talk. You are what makes this conference and without you we wouldn't be here. So thank you very much for filling the conference with content and also thank you especially from my heart to everyone who uh, contributed basic talks. I hope we see more of them. I would also like to extend my warmest thanks to all of our heralds who did an amazing job at guiding you through the conference and also to some of the hiccups which I will comment on in a second. If you want to become a herald, reach out to Sebastian at dnoc.de and he will guide you through how you can get there and maybe we can see your face on next year's conference talking to some of our speakers. I would kindly like to thank our video team who have not only done their very best to give us this amazing streaming experience here, but also already managed to publish most of the talks on YouTube and the rest I'm sure will follow soon. So. Speaking of video, in last year's closing, I presented you our all new remote studio. So you might be wondering what changed? Well, first and foremost, we moved from Munich to Berlin. It's another city, but really we're in a dark room with closed windows, so could be anywhere. <laughs> from the previous four locals during a almost lockdown in last year, we're now eight locals. Uh, we are all vaccinated and tested daily, so we do feel pretty safe as one can do nowadays, hopefully. It's still not the crew we would hope to have here. Uh, we would love to have our people around us, everyone running chores, so it can get stressful at times, but it's definitely better than being with only four people and having to deal with the rest remote. So thank you to everyone here in the room, uh, even though you can't see them, thanks. Then we switched from OBS uh, to, for mixing our video to vMix and we skipped, uh, switched from the cascade of laptops running Zoom conferences to vMix Call, uh, which allows us to directly integrate all the speakers and slides into our mixing software without having to grab uh, HDMI signals from dozens of laptops or half a dozen of laptops. Also, the nice wall we had last year, uh, which we actually had to do some paint correction on before the conference, is now a green screen, but it still looks like a wall, so I hope you didn't notice the change too much. We went from no audio mixing to actual auto audio mixing, which is a hell of a lot better. And we can actually preview incoming uh, audio levels before the conference or before we send someone live. And we moved from a PowerPoint running in the background uh, during the breaks to InfoBeamer. So uh, if you like that, maybe give them a shout out as well. For some impressions, again, if uh, we, we are, as mentioned, standing in front of a green screen, a green screen requires a lot of light. So I'm pretty blinded by the lights, as one would say. Um, here you can see our current view, uh, some slides, a tele light, but nothing that has changed too much from the last year. And as you can see here, we have a new uh, audio mixer. It's a Behringer X-Touch and everything else, aside from the software is pretty much the same as we had in the past years. Speaking of past years, if you're interested in our full gear, check out last year's closing where I go into every detail about every item you can see on those screens. So what did we learn? And especially in, in the last, let's say, rough, rough hour. Um, first and foremost, hardware controls beat clicking by a mile. Having macros to do some of your stuff is easier. And we really appreciate the video mixing setup as well as our uh, stream decks. Presenter and herald manuals are valuable. So every herald and every presenter is given a, I think, two to three page document stating exactly what to do uh, to get into vMix, to have their screen shared and so on. It's even better if they are completely read and followed. So this might be a hint on some of the hiccups we've experienced. The majority of the issues we experienced weren't actually caused by, by our setups here, but by setups out of our control, meaning bad internet connectivity, not here, but at uh, our speakers venues, uh, misbehaving remote audio setups, to put it nicely. And we fixed some of those things in post. So check the recordings, especially on some talks where we had really broken audio, they will be, they have been fixed. Um, 
a, a little side note on that is that we noticed the more complex the audio and video setup of remote speakers, the more error prone it is. So even though we appreciate good audio and video quality, sometime, sometimes it's better to keep it simple. Improvising when something goes wrong is even harder with remote speakers and heralds because having an audio channel might be helpful, but sometimes that audio channel is a mute and so you can't talk to someone. Uh, as well as improvising, uh, something is way easier when the audio is broken to give someone a microphone to their hand than running over there. But hey, I still believe we made it work. A red phone in the studio is a must. Obviously, it doesn't have to be, uh, be red, but having the possibility for someone to call in is really helpful. And uh, this was the first year we had it, and we're glad we did. Also, uh, a side note to everyone presenting at any kind of conference, if you plan to present something other than the slides, please inform the conference organizers so they can prepare accordingly. Because especially when mixing such a setup, something that might seem trivial, like enhancing the image size, is not as trivial as you might think, because you have to go through a lot of setup in, uh, beforehand. So with that said, first and foremost, a huge thank you to Internet Link for hosting us here. We were nicely fed, we got enough to drink, um, and we feel very comfortable here. So thank you for providing us with our streaming studio. Thanks, obviously, from my side to my colleagues in the program committee for helping us in providing you with this great audio uh, conference experience. I believe all of the talks were great. There was something for everyone, be beginner to expert, being a manager to technical. So I hope you all enjoyed the content. Please do us a favor and rate the talks and conference. Rating for day one as well as for the conference is already up. And once I'm done talking, the conference rating for day two is on there. Last time I checked, we only had roughly 60 uh, people here, uh, people uh, who have submitted reviews. And I can already spoil that from Patrick's facts and figure slides, that's less than 10%. So please go ahead and give us, the, uh, give us a rating. It only takes a minute. So Dan, that's it for me. Patrick. Up to you. Thank you, Moritz. So uh, it's the last part of the year, the last part of the conference. Um, it's a pleasure again to give you the facts and information from the Orga team. Obviously, I would like to thank our sponsors without whom we couldn't be doing this at all. We'd like to thank our diamond sponsor, IPHH, as well as our platinum sponsors, DKIX, Core Backbone and Flex Optics as well as our support sponsors and obviously once again our streaming location sponsor and I would actually like to call out the coffee because that was different from everything I've had before. So with that a couple of facts. We, at the end we had 810 attendees, 618 checked in and we had a really good Sunday with 301 people. That brings us to a 76% check-in rate uh, comparing to other conferences, that is a really good no-show rate for a virtual conference. Obviously, we hope we'll get back to our 10% uh, if it is in person again next year. I want to highlight once again what Moritz touched on in the opening uh, talk, talking about the Workshop Sunday. And I, I remember how we in 2018 were discussing whether we should do this and we should do this on a Sunday. And I, I do understand the Sunday is controversial for everyone and it's on a regular basis controversial, but I wanted to highlight out the numbers again and clearly show is like, this is really a good success story. It seems it's picking up more and more um, to make it work even better. What we need are workshops. And this is the big and important part for us. This is really tricky to get here every year. Uh, and we need your help. It's like you have roughly a year. It's about 11 and a half months. Maybe it's just 10 and a half until closing. Um, but we need your input on workshops. We need your presentation ideas on workshops. We'd, we'd like to have vendors come in and show their newest gear. We'd like to have people giving workshops on the basics, uh, bring new people into the community and bring them up to speed. Uh, whatever you think is a good workshop, come talk to more than the crew. If you want to talk, you can also talk to me uh, or everyone else involved in the event crew. But we really want to expand on the workshops. We want to make this work throughout the next years in person. And for that, we need your input. And we need a new clicker. 
So obviously you've made again uh, a tremendous use of the emojis. We don't want to hold that back from you. That was really good. We see very much positive energy flowing around there. Uh, all the details we will have later on on the website in our report. One quick request to anyone listening. Please smash those buttons now. I want to see a peek on there. And if you make it, I will share it later on. Fantastic. So as a reminder, the DNOG EV general meeting is not today as usual. It's tomorrow at 5 p.m. Zoom invitations will be sent out throughout uh, later today or early tomorrow morning. By the latest, you should have received a voting link invites already for the general uh, meeting if you are a member. Uh, if you haven't, reach out to Malta. If you want to have more information on what's happening on the general meeting, go to the governance page of DNOC.de. You can find everything there. Huge thanks to the whole org team who's been working for a good amount of years since the last conference and has invested an enormous amount of time into this. Uh, really appreciate working with everyone and hope we can get this team expanded next year even further. Quick outlook into 2020, what are we doing? You can meet us at one of the meetups, hope, hopefully in person, but we'll do them anyway. If we have to go virtual for the first quarter or half of the year, we'll do it anyway. We'll have an orga workshop somewhere in the first quarter, uh, definitely in the first half of next year, where we want to bring everyone together who wants to be engaged in DNOC. So if you want to be part of that, have a look out. And obviously we're going to have DNOC 14 in whichever way. I personally would prefer a uh, personal one on site somewhere and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, we also are still launching our community blog. We're working on the website relaunch and there's plenty more to come in 2020. So I know you're only all watching for one good reason. Where is the conference going next year? So. There was a voting that ended couple, uh, roughly two weeks ago, and the membership had the opportunity to vote where we're going. As you can see, um, we have a ranking and we're doing a bit of, not spoiler, but you can see we had Berlin, Munich and Frankfurt and Düsseldorf come in in the last ranking. And as you can read out of that, obviously we're gonna go to Hamburg again next year. And uh, that was a very clear vote that the membership wanted to uh, retake the, uh, the missed opportunity out of the last two years and we're going back to Hamburg. We'll be announcing dates uh, shortly and locations as well. Uh, we're very happy that the voting worked that well and hope you're satisfied with the choice as well. And with that, thank you all very much for attending. Um, we all do this for you, so we hope you enjoyed it. We hope to see you again in 2020. Stay safe, have a lovely year. See you soon. Goodbye.